Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage the Secretary of the Treasury of the United States, Mr. Steven Mnuchin, and the Chairperson of the Board of Directors of Tadawal, the Saudi Stock Exchange, Ms. Sarah El Suhaimi. Good morning. My name is Sarah al Suhaimi. I'm the chairperson of Tadawal, the Saudi Stock Exchange. It is uh, my pleasure today to have a conversation with the Secretary of the United States Treasury Department, Stephen Mnuchin. Since Donald Trump um, was elected president in 2016, uh, Secretary Mnuchin has played a pivotal role in advancing uh, Trump's administration economic agenda. Uh, especially the pivotal uh, achievement of the legislative, uh, the legislative achievement of the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act. Secretary Mnuchin and the Trump administrations have been partners for the kingdom and have been great supporters in the uh, kingdom's effort of opening up our capital markets to foreign investors and strengthening our position as the regional leader and on the global stage. Uh, we're excited to have you here today. Please join me in welcoming uh, Secretary Mnuchin. Thank you. Well, it's a terrific pleasure to be here with you again. Um, you just attended the IMF and, uh, uh, and World Bank annual meetings. Uh, how do you see the global economy um, and uh, what is your outlook uh, for the U.S. economy over the next 12 months? Well, I think the, the U.S. economy continues to be quite strong. We see uh, very strong employment, very low inflation, and still tremendous amounts of capital coming back into the U.S. to be invested. The consumer is very strong. So I see the outlook in the United States is still very good. Uh, there is no question that global growth is slowing down. So whether I speak to uh, people in Europe or people in Asia or, or China, there's no question that the global economy is slowing down, and that, that's had some modest drag on the U.S. economy. Uh, are you concerned uh, of that China and key European economies uh, are, uh, are heading to a hard landing? Well, uh, Europe, I am somewhat concerned. Um, I think particularly with negative interest rates, there's only so much they can do on the monetary side, so I think they really need to do more on the fiscal side. I think they need to do things on regulations. Um, but I, I've had good conversations with them. And uh, on China, we're looking forward to President Trump and President Xi signing phase one of our important trade agreement. Uh, later next month when they're together in Chile, and I think that will be important economic achievement for both of us. Uh, one of the main goals uh, of Saudi Arabian uh, Vision 2030 is uh, opening up uh, our markets to foreign investors and further developing our capital market. Um, are there lessons that you can share with us um, uh, from the United States' very successful capital markets? Well, I think there clearly are. And, and let me first say, I think the Crown Prince's vision of 2030 is very important and really a just an enormous transformational opportunity for the entire Saudi economy. And, and it's been a terrific beginning. I must say I'm looking forward to the Kingdom's presidency of the G20 next year. I'll be back three times. So I'll be here plenty of time next year to, to work with all of you on this. But I, I think capital markets are a very important of the transformation. I think that, uh, as you and I have talked about, the changes that you've made, the technology upgrade that you've done, these are all the right things. I think you have to have proper regulations. You can't have too much regulations. I think you need to have transparency. You need to have a legal system. And I think you're taking all the right steps in that direction. And I think, the obviously, the Aramco IPO is going to be a, a great opportunity to grow the capital markets here and watch its success. Um, yes, true. Um, our, 
We have today, uh, as we spoke earlier, 1,500 registered uh, qualified foreign investors and almost 50% uh, come from the US. So what's your view on um, uh, the appeal of uh, investing in Saudi from a US investor uh, point of view? Well, I think, I think there, it's a very strong appeal. I think the, the potential market here is very large. I think the potential role that Saudi can play in the, the regional hub of the economy is very important. And, and I think His Highness the Crown Princess's execution of this transformation uh, will be the critical vision on getting that done. So I, I think the opportunity is here, and really now it's important to provide a roadmap and specifics for U.S. investment and others. No need for others, really, just plenty of U.S. investment uh, in, in the opportunity. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Secretary, and uh, thank you all for listening. Thank you.